I'm David from Levica Photography and today I want to get rid of my blue light so we're testing microphones all kinds of microphones now the microphone that I'm currently using is on the a7r and it's the ECM WM1 now this is the microphone I've been using forever that you guys have seen me use so I'm going to incorporate a lav with it and I've got a couple of different labs labs lav lavaliers this is the Sony stereo uh, lavalier and this is three feet long and uh, that was 22 bucks and then we've got the giant squid from audio labs which is a six foot long lavalier microphone and it comes in a very high-tech package that looks like this and this is like 50 bucks off Amazon and then we've got the ECM AW4 microphone now this is just like this one that I'm using here but this particular microphone that I'm using right now ties into the Sony multi interface hot shoe and uses the automatic gain control that's actually it built into the camera so the camera has to be able to support it now what if you're using a camera that's not a Sony but you like the Bluetooth idea well that's where these come in they're portable uh, biggest problem though is battery life because they only run on uh, AAA's so I typically get about an hour and a half of battery life out of the microphone so I carry a lot of AAA's with me uh, you could go the rechargeable route if you wanted as well. Now, the other setup that we have today is the uh, Ceramonic right here. And these people were nice enough to send this to me. I'll sit it over here. And uh, this is more of a traditional FM stereo dyne based microphone. That's what they call it on the box. FM stereo dyne. So anyway, uh, this has an XLR lav. And it's a traditional wireless radio receiver. And it's a lot bigger, but it does seem to work pretty well. So let's try these out and see what they're like. So with this setup here, uh, we already know in the review that I did that you can get about, I went out to about, uh, well, I went out to the street, which is about 50 yards away and uh, <clears throat> but it seemed to hold up till about 33 yards out 100 feet away from the building which was pretty solid now that's the ECM WM1 god they're so hard to remember because they're just so close and I've got too much crap going on here let's check out uh, the ECM uh, AW4 setup and see what that sounds like so I'll go ahead and put this on and we'll just swap these out and luckily this one's labeled microphone this one's labeled receiver so you know which one's which okay there we go now this is what I sound like on the ECM AW4 Bluetooth wireless microphone now this like the ECM WM1 comes with earpieces so the camera person can wear an earpiece and you can wear an earpiece and he can talk to you through the microphone but won't be recorded while you can talk back to him but you will be recorded so just so you know uh, it does actually work pretty well so that's the reason why I like it now this is the ECM WM1 the one that I've been using forever that we are not recording on right now and this one ties into the audio gain control actually on the camera uh, this setup does not, but it does have volume control, so you can turn it up if you need to. Now, when it's on the A7R, I feel like it's, it's pretty much okay the way it is, but when I plug it into uh, a computer to record uh, my talking segments when I'm going through photos, then I have to turn it up uh, all the way, and I usually turn up uh, the receiver five times, and that seems to get it to the point where it should be. Anyway so I want to get away from the blue light but I like the wireless transmitter so the first one that we're gonna try is the giant squid audio lab microphone 
All right. Okay, this is the Giant Squid Audio Lab microphone. How does this sound? Now I imagine, you know, it should sound pretty good. I'll go back and listen to the audio and then comment it on it a little bit. But I believe it should be pretty good. So we'll find out here in a second. Okay, so now let's switch directly over to, this is a funky lav. Uh, this is the Sony Stereo Lav, and it has a left and right on here. So make sure you don't get that screwed up. Uh, it actually works kind of directional, and I think it works a little bit better when it's farther away, if you point it up and down if you want to be directional. But this is actually kind of a cool way to do interviews too because then you can you can lay this or clip it onto something that's in between you and the person you're talking to. So let's plug this in and see what it sounds like. All right, so here's the stereo microphone. Hold on one second here. I'm just going to unplug the Giant Squid Audio Lab mic. All right, now really quick, let's do a range test on this microphone and see what it sounds like. I'm taking out my range finder so I know where I'm at here. And we'll see how this compares to the other one. Now, it is in my side pocket, so hopefully it keeps range okay, but we'll find out. All right, so let's go outside here. Okay, walking away from the building, walking away, walking away. Do, 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 do. Okay, right here I am at 20 meters. Okay, walking through the carport. Usually it loses reception in here. Okay, this is 30 meters. Okay, now I'm still walking and still walking and still walking. All right, now I've made it to the sidewalk and we're 50 meters away now from the studio. So now I'm coming back in and hopefully you can hear me okay. Going back into the carport. This is usually where I lose reception. And now come up to the back, back at 20 meters. And now I'm getting a little closer and almost to the door. Okay, there we go. So hopefully that sounded pretty good. Uh, I do believe this has kind of a rich sound, but if I am in a small area, I do actually get a little bit of echo out of this. So that's why I also have the Giant Squid Audio Lab for those situations where this just doesn't work. But, you know, audio quality wise, you just have to let me know what you think. Okay, I need to do one more test, and this test is for ambient sound. Currently I have the radio turned on, and I have got the stereo mic plugged into the ECM WM1. So this is what it sounds like when it's picking up ambient sounds around. Now let me unplug that mic, and then we'll go directly into this mic. Uh, this is the ECM WM1 by itself. Now let's go ahead and plug in the uh, Audio Labs Giant Squid Lab and see what that sounds like. Okay, so that's this is what that mic sounds like. So which one actually cancels out the background better? Uh, let me know. And which one do you think sounds better out of these two labs? Because I'm going to one of these. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, leave a comment below. Now, anyway, after that, let me shut the radio off. So now, let's switch over to the Ceremonic setup and see what that sounds like. Oh, by the way, before I switch over, let me just show you on here, you have uh, four different frequency channels. You have A, B, C, and D, and then just a power on and off, and then you have a headphone jack with volume control at the top. And this one is the same way, and it comes with an extra belt clip too, so you don't have to use this particular uh, hot shoe adapter and this thing I believe just pulls back Ugh. at least it should oh it slides out okay well good I didn't break it that's nice 
So anyway, let's switch over to this and see what that sounds like. All right, now here is the Ceremonic. And the Ceremonic's more of a traditional setup. It's obviously a lot bigger and a lot bulkier. Out of all the solutions that I've shown you guys, the ECM WM one, the ECM AW4, those are pricey. I mean, those are a couple hundred bucks each. This one's only $89. So, you know, the nice thing is it's an XLR mic. You can change the mic out if you want. I don't know if this mic works okay or not. I think this sounds actually pretty good. But let's uh, go for a walk and see what the range is like. And I'll put this box right here so you have something to stare at while I'm out there walking. Okay, so let's go. All right, leaving the building. Now I'm outside. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? I'm at 20 meters. Okay, now I'm back at 10. I'm almost to the door. <clears throat> okay, there you go. I was actually made it out 50 yards with the other one. This one, I'm not sure what happened. So let me go listen to the results and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I went inside and I listened to everything and then I listened to everything again. And I was very surprised at what I heard. And I did these recordings like six or seven times just to see what was going on with them. And with the ceremonics, these, these right here, uh, there was an issue where if I recorded at full volume, because the volume control is on the top of the receiver, um, it would uh, record an overabundance and make everything, I don't know, it just sounded like it was overbearing. But if you turned it down just a little bit to where it looked good on the back of the camera, then it would start to fade out. And this is a uh, high band VHF and it claims it'll do 60 meters with no obstacles. Um, I'm clearly going to put an obstacle in the way because I have to go outside to get any kind of length. This room's only like 600 square feet. But so. if you turned it down to like three quarters, then it would record very well, but you got to give it a 20 decibel boost to make it sound good. So, you know, right now, you know, I'm going to hang on to these. Uh, There'll be a third system, and I'll, I'll use them, but I'm just not overly impressed by them. But for 90 bucks, I don't know what you expect. Okay, so that leaves me with the ECM WM-1, which you're hearing right now, and the Giant Squid Audio Labs. This mic seems to work best with that system. When I use the stereo Sony microphone on that system, it actually seemed to record too loud. The ECM AW4 microphones that, from Sony that you can plug into any camera uh, with a 3.5 millimeter jack, those seem to work best with the stereo microphone. And that the stereo microphone actually made those just a little louder, but not overbearing. So that's the combination I'm going to go with when I'm shooting with the A7R. Then when I'm shooting with the A6000, it'll be the Giant Squid Audio Labs and the ECM WM-1. But like I said, there's a little bit of crackling with this. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Leave a comment. Otherwise, subscribe to my channel for more information like this. And I hope you guys have a good day. We'll talk to you later. See ya.